So being a content creator in a fighting game space definitely brings its fair share of trash talk. And with the Road to Rank 1 series going, there is one person who I think might be my biggest hater. His name is Nightmare20, and he's ranked 194 in rank sets on Mortal Kombat 11. Despite all the trash talk he gives me in my messages, which you're about to see, I've always had some respect for him because of the variation of noob he plays. He uses Shadow Slide, the Projectile, and then the Air Tele Slam. So dude gets absolutely no launches, yet still dominates. It's more of a zoning variation, and then he tries to bait anti-airs with the Air Tele Slam. So it all started on the 14th of March when I lost a set in ranked against him, you know, and I, I got the laughing faces, and to post the loss, onto my YouTube channel. You know, I wasn't very happy about the loss either, so I decided to respond by saying, you know, he should post it, you know? If he really wants to, go ahead and post it and link it to me once he does. But what makes it really interesting is because we're both top 500, we play each other a lot, and I ended up taking the next set against him. This is why we end up spiraling down the constant messages, because we are kind of forced to play each other fairly often, like I think we have the Nemesis title in the game at this point. So at this point, I was always receiving a message when I lost, and when I won, I didn't really care to send anything, but I did really want my get back. Like, I wanted to take multiple sets in a row, not just one, and lose the next one when I ran into him. So here was more messages from him about two days later. It said, but you won't post the lost. I get it, posting a loss to a nobody like me messes with your image. This is the only point that I just truly disagree with, and that is that I'm not avoiding posting the loss by any means. I just kind of have a principle that if you beat me in a combat league set and your first reaction is to message me to post it on YouTube, the last thing I would possibly do is go post it onto YouTube. So hits me with a whatever floats my boat, and the fact is you still lost to me. When he's mentioning the name drop, I mentioned that I do post my losses. In fact, I posted a double flawless against me by Bandinos, so yeah. So on Sunday, we must have played each other again, and he hit me with the what's the excuse? Flawless round with Brutal 2 a comeback. That's content. And he is not wrong. That is actually truly content. I, I agree with him. It just goes against this idea that I don't like being told to upload my losses by people who beat me. It just comes across as like a sore winner, and you know, it's not really genuinely helping anybody like i post it right you're still gonna come onto the comments and potentially say something a great example of when you know people message me and i'm happy to post was the last road to rank one the terminator beat me it was a great set all around and we had a nice message exchange i hope that guy finds the video comments so i can pin him in the comments regardless though two days ago i sent him a message and i know it says yesterday but that's because it's probably been like 46 hours since i sent it we should run a set and I didn't get a reply. At this point, I was like, no, we, we are creating content today, Mr. Nightmare 20. We are, we're gonna do this. Let's set it up right now. The problem is I could not find him. I typed his gamer tag into Twitter. Nothing came up. I typed his gamer tag into YouTube. Nothing came up. This is where everything changed though, and I was able to get a hold of him. I was on his profile and went to the linked accounts, trying to find literally any way I could message him. And conveniently enough, his Steam was linked right here and it answered all my questions. Nightmare20 is spelled more correctly than his Xbox gamer tag. You might be wondering why I didn't already try to do this. It's because Nightmare20 with, you know, all those additions seemed like a gamer tag that wouldn't be taken if you just added the I. So I thought it was a stylistic choice and didn't think, you know, his actual socials would include the I that his Xbox gamer tag did not. So here we were. I went to Twitter and I sent him the DM. It was go time. We messaged a little bit on the first day, and we didn't get a set going. But this leads me to right now, which is partly for good and partly for bad. I had some free time this morning, so, you know, I'd gotten up, I was just on my phone, and I thought, you know what, maybe I should shoot out the message right now so, like, we can set it up here today, because I have free time for quite a bit. We will see what happens. Neither of us have played it all today, it seems, because I haven't been on either, so I have no warm-up. He's gonna have no warm-up. It's all gonna be fair. Lastly, I wanna say, do not go spread hate to this individual. It's a fighting game. He's allowed to talk trash, you know? It makes it a lot more fun considering MK11 is four years old. After the set, it's gonna be GG's win or lose. You guys are gonna see it. If he wins, he's going to get the post he always wanted. If he loses, I, he's still getting the post, but yeah, I let you guys know he has beat me in rank sets before. And he's in, all right. If I don't talk too much during this set, just know it's because I care a lot about winning, so, you know.
All right, let's go. I feel pretty good about that. It's just, uh, it's not looking good to start. Focus right now is absolutely insane. This is what is. I did notice he's not playing his normal ranked variation, so that's kind of interesting. I can really tell I'm rusty because I didn't have like a warm up because I am dropping a whole lot of stuff. It's okay, I might be down, but I think there's still time to come back. We didn't really have like a set amount of games, which we probably should have set for it. So I'm just going to treat it like a first to 10. Comeback potential on Noob is so great. It's not as good as like Lu or Sub-Zero, but it still is wild. When it comes to our rank sets, the hardest thing I always find is he's hard to stagger, so... You know, I kind of have to condition 4-3-4 before I can do 4-3 into throw. Um, and he ends up blocking or ducking a lot of the other things.
Okay, you know what? It's not necessarily like tournament rules, but we're getting a variation switch from him, so I switched. Uh, Air Sim Blade just wasn't doing it for me. I wasn't playing consistent enough. All right, we'll take a win there, you know. Fight.
Man, this game, <laughs> this game is so sweaty. I'm trying my life. Two wins in a row? Okay, not bad. We can really work with that. Having the lead in the set feels very, very good. All right, we're on to the final match. He DM'd me on Twitter basically saying this will have to be the last one, which works perfectly because we're a 7-7, seven, seven, so.
Big GG's. Big GG's. Can't win them all. I guess Nightmare 2-0 really still is my, my personal nightmare. GG's, my friend. You deserve it.